today. Well, y'all can read the title. Ribs and a side. We'll talk about that side later. Hey, yo, this is Dash. Get ready. Hey yo, this is Dash, and <clears throat> I saw a video the other day by one of you guys, the dog father. The dog father put together a video of some beef ribs and some Brussels sprouts with bacon. If you haven't seen that video, do yourself a favor. Go and check it out. Hey yo, Dog Pound, what's cracking today? Today, we're gonna take part in a uh, collaboration. It's called uh, Ribs and the Side. So we finished up our cook for today, which is for uh, ribs and a side YouTube collaboration. So I did a beef rib, I did some smoked Brussels sprouts, sauteed some sweet peppers, some onions, some mushrooms, put that all together, and I've got a little drizzle of uh, balsamic vinegar on top. Accompany this beef rib, man, this is a meal. All right. So guys, if you haven't tried beef ribs, or you're afraid of beef ribs, don't be afraid. Now that we're back from that, <clears throat> so today, 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 I'm gonna take care of some beef ribs. So when I got this pack of ribs, there were four ribs in the, in the pack. And one of the things I'll tell you is I do not, these are not my favorite. There is a one, two, three, four bone. This is the four, bit, four bone rib rack. There's a three bone rib rack that I get from the Restaurant Depot. I actually prefer the three bone rib rack. Let me explain why I don't like these or these ribs are not my favorite. The four bone ribs have a lot more fat on them. Now, I'm gonna trim some of this fat away, but I want you to see, hopefully the light doesn't drown out, but you can see right in there, here's a bone, here's a bone, here's a bone. And let me turn this light down some. Here we go. So there's a bone, there's a bone, there's a bone, there's a bone, it's all the way over there. But you can see there's a lot of fat in here. Okay. So I'm gonna trim some of this fat away and then I'm gonna get them seasoned. And today I'm just gonna be using Heaven Made Products, Texas a Best Beef Rub. So yeah, I'm gonna get them trimmed and seasoned. All right, <clears throat> so I have my beef ribs here and, and I wanted to show you again this is where the fat is. So I'm gonna come in and try to trim some of this fat away. Now I'm gonna turn this towards me so I can actually see what I'm doing. So you guys saw me put a pretty aggressive trim on this brisk, on, <laughs> brisket, on these beef ribs. So I affectionately call beef ribs brisket on a stick. Now, I have a rather thick section and I have a thinner section. So what I'm gonna do to help promote these ribs cooking more evenly is I'm gonna separate these in half. So we have a, a big cross section and a smaller cross section. So the, the bigger cross section will probably take a little longer to cook. This piece here had a lot of fat in it. And you, like I said, you guys saw me trim a lot of that out. Uh, but we're going to get it seasoned up. And I'm using a paper towel trick again. <clears throat> now, I've been asked before, or I don't take the 
the membrane off of the bottom of the beef ribs and the reason why I don't is because I like the this to actually help hold everything together by the time these ribs are cooked the way that I like to cook them if I have these this off the bone will fall off and the meat will fall completely off of the bone when I try to pick it up off of the off of the grill so I leave the membrane on and I only season the 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 sides and the top I don't worry about seasoning the bottom of the beef ribs just my own personal opinion let's get the ribs over here and we're going to use the aerosolizer the aerosolizer there is a link in the description for this on Amazon I'm just going to spray all sides to help promote adhesion of the seasoning and all this is is just straight olive oil so extra virgin olive oil All right, so now we season tops, sides. All right, so at this point, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and get the grill started. I'm gonna let these hang out for just a few minutes while I get the grill started. I see y'all outside. All right. So today, I'm going to be topping the pellets off. I have hickory pellets in. So I'm just going to use this uh, big scoop I got from like Restaurant Depot. Okay, so today I'm going to be cooking these beef ribs at 275 degrees. Here we go. All right, so here we again have our ribs. that side you guys remember these right these are the sweet potatoes that I planted some of you guys who've been around for a while might recognize this this is my potato box today I'm planting my potatoes so I planted these potatoes these are sweet potatoes on Mother's Day 2018 and today is July 3rd 2018 so it's been almost two months since they've been in there and yeah they're looking really good but here are my potatoes and I've never seen this before but they're like vining out and they're vining out on almost all four corners but they're definitely growing. Today, is... I'm gonna be harvesting potatoes. These potatoes have actually been under attack by some deer, or a deer in particular, a buck, uh, that's been in the area. The buck has eaten the leaves off of the plant twice. So, find that out. Actually, have a sweet potato. This is my first sweet potato. Check that out. Oh my goodness, what? 
Do you see that? That is amazing. This is so dope. This is crazy. Look at that. And I again apologize for the wind noise. These guys, look at this hair. Oh my goodness. Ooh, look at this one. Big guy. Obviously, this is what you guys want to see. Yes. Look at that. Isn't that crazy? I got some potatoes. So I'm going to use my homegrown sweet potatoes as my side. Let's get them cleaned up. Let's get them cooked. All right, that's better. Now we can play. All right, so after an hour, man, look at, look at that. We got some, we're getting some good color on the ribs. We're starting to get some pullback. All right. I think I'll check back on these in a little while. All right, guys, so at this point, I'm going to get my sweet potatoes out of the boiling water and I'm going to get them seasoned with some cinnamon sugar around here. Breakfast, uh, uh, I make churros every now and again. So we have some already pre-made. If you don't have cinnamon sugar pre-made, you probably don't have kids. But we use cinnamon sugar pretty regularly. And then I'm going to use a whole stick of butter. You obviously can butter it however to your taste, but cinnamon sugar and butter are part of the next step. Let's get the sweet potatoes out of the water, get them peeled, get them sliced up, and we're going to get them in the pan.
Alright, so you guys saw me get the potatoes diced up and put into the container. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and get the cinnamon sugar added and the butter. Alright, so we are back out at the grill and take a look at those. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get my sweet potatoes put out here. And I'm going to come back out here in a little while and we're going to check on these ribs. But for right now... They're looking... Fantastic. So I'll be back out here in a bit. So you're probably not going to be able to hear anything that I'm saying. If I, I'm going to try to do a voiceover later. If I forget or if I don't, you're going to see text on the screen for this next part. Sorry in advance. Oh, wow. Check out what we have here. All right, so I guess we're pulling all of the fat off of off of these. Yeah, man, they're paying the price. But the money work ribs are back here, and they're just about done. As you guys saw, I didn't put any sort of spritz or spray, but I do like barbecue sauce on my ribs, so I'm gonna get a little bit of sauce. So, guys <clears throat> so at this point there's only one well two things I want to show these off to you just once more and I'm gonna cut in we'll cut into them Check that out. Great smoke ring. I apologize. The light drowns out the smoke ring just a little bit. But, yes, indeed. Let's check out the non sauced Oh, these are looking mighty fine as well.
I'm gonna get a plate real quick. <clears throat> All right, so here we can finish this out. And I wanted to take a moment to thank uh, Dog Father, inspiration for this cook. He hit me up and he said, hey, well, actually, I saw the video, then he hit me up and said, hey, rib and the side. And I'm like, challenge accepted. So it just so happened I had some beef ribs in the in the freezer. I took them out. We smoked them up. Also, the sweet potatoes. If you guys, again, don't remember, I grew these sweet potatoes. So that's why I made these sweet potatoes. Nothing better than having something that you grew at home. Fix my plate up real quick. And I'm going to get ready to throw it down. Now, business. Should have just cut this off the bone. But good night. Sweet potatoes are awesome. Probably could have used a little more sugar, but we always want more sugar. Plenty of butter. Decent amount of sugar. Nice amount of cinnamon. I'm going to call this one good. So, ribbon aside, check that one off the box. Thank you so very much for hanging out with me. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. If you like what you saw today, if you learned something, please leave me a thumbs up and or a comment down below. Make sure you turn our notification bell on. So you'll be notified whenever one of these videos goes live and or we start a live stream. We do live streams almost every Wednesday night, <laughs> 9 p.m. Eastern. So thank you again as always for watching. I'll see you guys next time.